Good morning, everybody. So a lot of people were asking me or had mentioned about this coffee filter method that I use to clean my grease. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So it's Saturday morning and I am actually doing some cleaning, cleaning my kitchen. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, I had a pan of some beef tallow. This is my beef tallow jar, I keep it in the refrigerator. And so I thought I would just show you guys how I do my um, how I do my drippings. So I have a pan. I cooked some um, beef fat trimmings, a couple rounds of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and filter this grease, uh, this beef tallow, into my beef tallow jar. So here it is. I've got my coffee filter here. Um, I got a pan of grease right here, and I'm just gonna pour this through. Now, if you have a funnel, that probably would be helpful. I don't have one, so I'm not using one. So just kind of pour slowly. Oh, don't pour it everywhere, you guys, like I'm doing. Use a coffee filter, drain your grease. If you... If your pan is leaking like mine was, use a glass jar, pour it in the glass jar, pour it in there, and it'll drain through. Now, as long as you don't have any meat remnants in your grease, you should be able to leave this right on your countertop. But if you've got any of these dregs inside, then you'll want to make sure that you refrigerate it. Um, the best thing is to just go ahead and strain it and then... Um, you can leave it on your countertop. I don't know how long, but I say forever. That's what my grandmother used to do with bacon grease. And so um, you just take this right little thing right out of here. Once it's all the way done draining, take it out, throw it in the trash, and you're all set. So very simple. Just one more thing. If you need a little bit more time to drain, just take your top and put it right on. You can go ahead and let this drain off to the side. And then later on when you come back, you can take that uh, coffee filter out and toss it away. Okay, thanks. Okay, we are back again. So I have also some, this is beef tallow. And I used it to fry chicken. So I'm going to keep this separate. I'm going to do the same method, which is I will take a coffee filter put it in my ball jar, and then I'm gonna strain my chicken grease. So I'll use this for cooking chicken again. Okay, so here's my coffee filter. Let me just push this down inside here. I actually have a ball jar ring that I'm gonna place around here to keep this from slipping in. So let me just put this ball jar ring right around it. Just like that. That'll hold it in place so when I'm pouring, it won't slip in. And then we'll just pour this right in here. So again, you know, it just drains out all of the uh, dregs from when I was cooking. I don't know what you call that, remains, remnants. I call it dregs. That's the words that we used when I was growing up. And it'll just, Filter through, down into the jar. So simple, simple method for cleaning your grease. I forgot to turn 